Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. DOJ announces they aren't calling illegals on document ads anymore. Once again, President Trump is on doing the lunacy of the Obama administration. During the dark days of extreme liberalism of the Barack Hussein Obama administration, the powers that be decided that it wasn't good to call a duck by its name. So because of this they unilaterally decided that government officials weren't going to be allowed to refer to illegal aliens as such, instead, the proper term to them is undocumented immigrant which makes it sound like these people were immigrants who just needed paper. Not lawbreakers who didn't respect our nation's sovereignty or their fellow man so they decided to cut to the front of the immigration line. Here is more on this via the Daily Wire. The Department of Justice has ordered the reversal of an unofficial Obama administration-era policy referring to illegal immigrants as undocumented migrants, according to a new report in The Washington Times. The report likely doesn't represent any significant change in how the DOJ treats border jumpers, but it does signal that Attorney General Jeff Sessions' DOJ will be less accommodating to lawbreakers, and less likely to view illegal immigration as merely a social problem rather than a crime wave. According to The Times, the DOJ told attorneys last week that they must refer to illegal immigrants as illegal aliens, the term used in the U.S. Code. Attorneys cannot replace illegal with undocumented so as to avoid stigmatizing border jumpers, a practice that has become popular in the pro-immigration movement. The note, which went out to all of Sessions' deputies, was designed to clear up some confusion and to, help officials, be consistent in the way we draft our releases. The U.S. Code is one of the last remaining reference works that stipulates the use of illegal immigrants. Since the debate on immigration began, most style books and guides suggest using undocumented as a way for journalists to subtly inject a political narrative into news stories. Now all this might seem trivial and of no consequence, but as chicks on the right have reported, it's actually not. You see, this is how the left wins the argument. They seem to change the language. Just like they have done with the LGBT agenda. They sometimes rename things and make things seem different. As an example just look at the left, they have gone from communist to socialist, to liberal, to progressive and now they have no problem going back to socialist since for some sick reason a 75-year-old retrograde from the Cold War like Bernie Sanders all of a sudden made it cool again. With President Trump and his administration, this madness is over and we are finally able to reclaim the correct terms. An illegal alien is just that and they don't deserve the respect of being called an immigrant of any kind. We are the most generous nation in the world when it comes to immigration and taking in refugees there is no need to have to keep people in our nation who disrespected us by breaking the law to come here. Here is more information as to why the Obama administration had changed the language via AP. A number of people felt that illegal immigrant was the best choice at the time. They also believed the always evolving English language might soon yield a different choice and we should stay in the conversation. Also, we had in other areas been reading the style book of labels. The new section on mental health issues argues for using credibly sourced diagnoses instead of labels. Saying someone was diagnosed with schizophrenia instead of schizophrenic, for example. And that discussion about labeling people, instead of behavior, led us back to illegal immigrant again. We concluded that to be consistent, we needed to change our guidance. So we have. Is this the best way to describe someone in a country without permission? We believe that it is for now. We also believe more evolution is likely down the road. Will the new guidance make it harder for writers? Perhaps just a bit at first. But while labels may be more facile, they are not accurate. I suspect now we will hear from some language lovers who will find other labels in the AP Stylebook. We welcome that engagement. Get in touch at stylebook at app.org or, if you are an AP Stylebook online subscriber, through the Ask the Editor page. Change is a part of AP style because the English language is constantly evolving, enriched by new words, phrases and uses. Our goal always is to use the most precise and accurate words so that the meaning is clear to any reader anywhere. The updated entry is being added immediately to the AP style book online and manual de estilo online de la AP, the new Spanish language style book. It also will appear in the new print edition and style book mobile, coming out later in the spring. It reads as follows. Illegal immigration entering or residing in a country in violation of civil or criminal law. Except in direct quotes essential to the story, use illegal only to refer to an action, not a person, illegal immigration, but not illegal immigrant. Acceptable variations include living in or entering a country illegally or without legal permission. Except in direct quotations, do not use the terms illegal alien, an illegal, illegals or undocumented. 
do not describe people as violating immigration laws without attribution. Specify wherever possible how someone entered the country illegally and from where. Cross the border? Overstate a visa? What nationality? People who were brought into the country as children should not be described as having immigrated illegally. For people granted a temporary right to remain in the U.S. under the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals program, use temporary resident status, with details on the program lower in the story. What a difference an election can make. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.